I'm Rob Satterfield. I'm the Farm Program Chief for the Farm Service Agency. Uh, the Farm Service Agency is a division of USDA. We realize that Hurricane Matthew has caused a great deal of devastation for the farmers in eastern North Carolina, and the Farm Service Agency has several programs that can provide assistance to help with those losses. We know there have been lots of livestock losses and we have a couple of programs that will assist with livestock. One is the Livestock Indemnity Program. We refer to that as LIP. It provides financial assistance to producers who have had livestock that died as a result of uh, the hurricane. We also have the Emergency Livestock Assistance Program which can provide financial assistance if you had feed in storage that was destroyed during the storm. For those programs, you did not have to be signed up ahead of time. You just need to contact your local office as soon as possible and file an application. For the Livestock Indemnity Program, you need to file an application within 30 days of the date of the death of your livestock. For the Emergency Livestock Assistance Program for a lost feed, uh, you need to file an application for that by November 1st. Contact information for your local office is available on our website. Uh, you would click on state offices and click on North Carolina and then it would bring up a North Carolina map and click on your particular county and it will bring up the information for you to contact the service center that serves your county. Good afternoon. I'm Larry Wooten. I'm president of the North Carolina Farm Bureau. We certainly know that people are stressed uh, by what has happened to their homes, to their farms, to their property. But in this recovery effort, it's important that you go to your FSA office and report the losses, go on the Cooperative Extension Service website, get the checklist so that you don't have to make two or three trips to report your losses. Report these losses. It's crucial in getting the necessary help that we're going to need to help Eastern North Carolina recover.